I'm so dynamic Think I'm from a different planet What's up everybody, it's your girl B Octavia and welcome back to my channel if you are new. My name is B Octavia, I'm 22 years old and I'm from Washington DC. Happy Thursday to everybody, you know we getting through the week. In today's video, I want to talk about a murder that happened last year in December. So in Baltimore on December 1st, a woman by the name of Jacqueline Smith was stabbed and killed in East Baltimore. In the car with her was her husband and her stepdaughter. It was said that she lowered her um, her window, the front passenger seat window, to give a young woman with a baby money. So in an instant when she's handing the money to the young lady with the baby, a, a male comes up and um, he grabs for Jacqueline Smith's wallet. A struggle ensued where Jacqueline Smith was fatally stabbed in her torso. And that was the story that the husband and stepdaughter gave. And as of March 3rd, there have been new developments in the case. And the police commissioner of Maryland held a press conference. And in this conference, he stated that the panhandler story was untrue. He also stated that he has first degree murder charges against Keith Smith and against Valeria. That's really ghetto. Valeria Smith. Valeria. Valeria. That's a name. Okay. First degree murder charges. So they lied about the story, and that's really unfortunate. It's unfortunate all the way around because you would never think that. I mean, they're not blood to you, but you would never think that somebody, your husband, you know, uh, your stepdaughter, you would never think somebody like that would try to take you out. So, it's it's sad. It's sad. Evidently, after they heard, you know, the press conference or what have you, they were found in Texas near the Mexico border trying to get over a vague, you know, prosecution. So... At this brief press conference, there was no other explanation on if they had any uh, new evidence to give, you know, to the public. There was no explanation on the roles that they participated in the death of Jacqueline Smith, and they did not explain any motives, but that the initial story was untrue. After his wife died, and see, this is where I think that a lot of people screw up. After his wife died, he gave numerous interviews to different news stations and stuff, probably for money. He also was trying diligently to pass legislation to ban panhandling at intersections. And not to say that that's not a bad law to pass, because that could be really dangerous in certain situations, um, but... I feel like that's probably where they got him at because it's all just a admission of guilt really. It's all just guilt eating you up so you feel like oh now I gotta really show that I cared about this person. They will be returning from Texas to Maryland March 20th so that's about shit. What's today? That's in a little bit, so we're going to hear more about it really soon. And I'm going to cover this because, huh, listen, one thing that we got to learn from this is, first of all, you got to really know who you're marrying, okay? If if it don't start off bad and you feel like it's getting bad, whether you starting to change yourself for a person, which um I read that family member said that she was slowly changing herself and slowly taking the back seat to him and what he wants to do and all of this you know what i'm saying so i feel like if you if you see that happening you should just you know let's get this because i like being who i am shouldn't nobody want to change me or i shouldn't conform to what you want to do because that ain't how i go you know what i'm saying another thing that we have to learn from this is that there is no space to lie with all of the technology and stuff that the police got, I 
they will question you for like days upon days like straight like they will break you down you know what i'm saying so we going to see what's hap what's 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 really good with this and what they have to say if they will say anything i feel like he won't say nothing because he gonna be embarrassed after he done did all these interviews and stuff and he was trying to get this law passed and everything he probably ain't gonna say nothing i want to know what y'all think about this because this is just crazy like that's your family you know you married them that's your family your family should not you know there shouldn't be any type of um there shouldn't be any type of thoughts to do anything like that if you love me. You know what I'm saying? So, let me know how y'all feel about this. Tell me your thoughts below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching. If you're staying, listening to me now. And, um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Which will be me reacting on Saturday. So, make sure you're here. Baby, lead the way, the way, yeah